Good day, viewers, and welcome to another edition of Social Development Outlook for Tuesday 29, 2022. I am your host, Shavan Mills. And just to remind you that this program is hosted and produced by the Communications Unit within the Ministry of Social Development. And every single week, we try our utmost to showcase the essential performances within this ministry and other related departments. At this point in time, we'll take our first break and be right back. The Department of Youth presents Catamaran, Catamaran Cruise. Cruise. Come join us on Saturday 9th April 2022 on board Blue Water Safaris. Time, 9.30 a.m. Boarding, Pinnace Beach. Sail with us along the Southeast Peninsula for a fun-filled day of snorkeling, diving, and swimming. Trust me, you can't miss it, because it's going to be awesome, awesome. And we're back. Melford Quilly of Fountain celebrated his 80th birthday in Farms area on Wednesday night, March, with the Honorable Eric Evelyn and a small contingent from the Seniors Division Department. We'll now view some clips from this momentous occasion. Good morning, viewers, and today we are here with Mr. Melford Quilly of Fountain Village as he celebrates birthday number 80. And we are here today with our minister, Honorable Eric Evelyn, from the Ministry of Social Development, and his three lovely children. And we're going to sing a short song for Mr. Queeley because he is a man of nature. And so we're going to sing, Through the Sunshine and the Rain, We Have Made It. Through the sunshine and the rain, we have made it. Through the sickness and the pain, we have made it. I couldn't make it by myself. I had to ask the Lord for help. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have made it. Thank you very much, Miss Prentice. And let me say a very good morning to all of us who are here. And it is indeed a privilege and a pleasure and an honor for me to be here this morning to celebrate with this young man. Mr. Melford Queeley, I say young man because he looks young. He looks very well for 80. So when I walked in this morning and I saw him, I couldn't believe that this is actually the celebrant. And of course, we know that once persons reach a milestone age of 80 or 90 or 100 or above, we normally come from the Department and Ministry of Social Development and Social Services to celebrate with them because we believe that God has been good to them to reach this age, and God has certainly been good and merciful and has shown his favor to Mr. Queeley to have reached the milestone of eight years. Mr. Queeley, of course, would have worked hard in his younger days, and he would have made a contribution to the development of this beautiful island called Nevis. And of course, we know that, of course, his legacy as well will be living through his lovely children that we have here. And so, Mr. Queeley, we are delighted to be here to celebrate this milestone with you. We believe that God has kept you thus far for a purpose. And we believe it's because you have done so well, because you have worked so hard in life, why God has favored you to reach the milestone of 80 years. We want to take this opportunity to congratulate you heartily on reaching this milestone. And we trust that he will continue to grant you mercy and good health and strength. And we hope that we will be back here in the next 10 years as you celebrate your 90th birthday. Um, I must say that you're looking absolutely well for this age. And whether it's you taking care of yourself or your children taking care of you, you all are doing a marvelous job. So I will encourage the children to continue to look out for you in this year, um, senior years because I'm sure you would have done a great job looking out for them when you were much younger. So once again, congratulations. Happy, happy, happy 80th birthday. May God continue to bless you abundantly. And we make this presentation on behalf of the Ministry of Social Development and the City Drugstore. God bless you, and happy 80th birthday. 
A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. Every day of the year, may you find Jesus near. A happy birthday to you, a happy birthday to you. The best that you ever had. And now we are going to ask the children to say something to their dad on his 80th birthday. We're going to start off with the son. The son. Happy birthday, Pops. Happy birthday, Daddy. May God continue to bless you abundantly. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. It's as Honorable Minister said, you're looking younger than ever. You are an excellent father, and we love and appreciate you. Thank you for all that you've done for us, for your children and your grandchildren. I only have one birthday wish. I so wish that mommy was here today, but she's here in spirit. And as I say, happy birthday. We love you. We party in later. <laughs> okay, thank you very much to the three children. And now we're going to hear something from Mr. Queeley. I thank God for life. God has been good to me. And I thank him very much, and I continue to serve him for the rest of my life. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Quido. Well said. And to our viewers, that concludes our short presentation today. Have a wonderful day, everyone. God bless. At this point in time, we'll take a final break, and when we return, we'll go straight into our featured presentation. A certificate was delivered on behalf of the Queen of England by the Deputy Governor General, Her Honor Hailita Leibert, to Mr. Stapleton at the Flamboyant Nursing Home for reaching the remarkable milestone of 100 years. Let us now view this excerpt. Deputy Governor General, Her Honor Mrs. Hailita Leibert, on behalf of the Queen of England, Honorable Eric Evelyn, Minister of Culture, Social Development, et al. Nurse Manager, Donna Hanley, Flamboyant Nursing Home. Family members, NNC Rep and uh, our Communications Unit. Staff from our Social Services Seniors Division. I'd like to especially recognize our centenarian, Miss Gwendolyn Stevenson. Greetings, everyone, and thank you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Miss Gwendolyn Clark, she has celebrated her 100th birthday last December. I think it was the 20th. And so you would have, or most of you would have enjoyed that celebration. And so today we are continuing the celebration with a brief presentation. Customarily, the Department of Social Services, we would send off to Her Majesty the Queen for her blessings when our seniors attain the age of 100. And we would have done that through the offices of the Deputy Governor General. And so the Queen has graciously sent her gift, and I think it's a gift card with her blessings for Miss Clark. And so that is the reason why we're here today. So as I said, it's very short. And so at this time, permit me to invite her honor to do that presentation, and that will be followed by a presentation from the Department of Social Services in a food basket, and I ask the Honorable Minister Evelyn to do that right after. 
thank you very much for that. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. And please permit me to adopt the protocol that was established before. It is really a pleasure for me to be here this morning again in the company of a very important person, Mrs. Stapleton. And I'm so happy to see you this morning. You're looking very well. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. So this morning, as your speaker, the speaker before said, there's going to be a very brief presentation. I have the honor to, on behalf of the police, Sir S.W. Chaplin C.P., GCMG, CBO, QC, JP, LLD, Governor General of St. Kitts and Nevis, I have the honor to present to Ms. Gwendolyn Stapleton an envelope, and it is, it is it's an interesting, it's marked Royal Mail. <laughs> so you are, you are extremely important, ma'am, and I show to you this royal mail coming from Buckingham Palace in England. And it has your address, Miss Gwendolyn Stapleton, flamboyant nursing home in Charlestown, Nevis, West Indies. So this is special, all right? So it is coming from delighted to be here today to join in this little brief celebration of course we were here last year but the royal lady deserves a second trip and so we are here a second time to honor mrs gwendolyn clark stapleton clark you are looking absolutely radiant today you, you look even younger than last year I don't know what is the magic, but we are indeed happy to be here once again as you continue to celebrate because someone who makes a century should not just celebrate on the day, but you should be celebrating all the time. And so congratulations once again on this milestone, and we are indeed very pleased and privileged to be back here to make this presentation to you today. May God continue to bless you richly. And that's our package for this evening, bidding you a pleasant nice dress, and remember 
Tune in next Tuesday for another edition of Social Development Outlook. We are now on Facebook and YouTube. Like, share, subscribe.